You know one problem with the original Nintendo Entertainment System? Every controller looks exactly the same. I mean, it's a classic controller. It's iconic. In fact, you could say that this is literally a classic controller since it's fourth the NES Classic. Bad jokes, I know. But what if you could go ahead and customize the look of this controller 35 years after it came out? We used to be able to. Nintendo Power had overlays all the time that looked great. Well, the team over at Graphics Gear recently reached out to us, and man, they have some really cool replacement face plates that you can install on an NES controller to really customize it and give it that custom one-off, different than anybody else sort of look. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put one of these on, we're gonna go through, we're gonna show you the different offerings that he has. We'll see how they look, let's get started. All right, so here we have our plain, old, boring, stale NES controller, right? So let's take a look at what Graphics Gear has sent us, because the I'm, I've looked at these a little bit and uh, pretty stinking cool. Make sure I will have links to his information down below for you. Make sure you check him out at graphicsgear.com. And uh, thank you for your support. Graf at Graphics Gear on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook too. So we've got uh, a couple of those guys. Oh, this is neat if you're a Zelda fan. You've got the Triforce. I think I just spotted though the one I'm gonna use. Check that out. That's awesome. I'm gonna set that one aside. Uh, Kirby fans. Metroid fans. Blue Bomber. <laughs> um, someone is trolling uh, with the uh, the two Sega Master System overlays. I, I love that. Those are great. Let's take a look here, too, because there is another bag, and this may be uh, more of the same. So let's take a look here. Ooh, Famicom colors. Okay. Oof. Oof. Okay. Uh, just a fresh overlay that with the Graphics Gear logo. Another Super Mario Brothers. Another Triforce. Mega Man. Kirby. And Metroid. Overall, these look really, really awesome. So what we need to do now at this point is we need to prep our controller. And, man, which one am I going to do? Am I going to do Famicom or am I going to do Mario? Hmm. I'll think about it. Okay. So before we go ahead and apply the overlay, and I'm just gonna throw this one on here for now, what we need to do is we need to clean the surface that you're going to adhere this label to and everything. So easiest way to do that, quite honestly, is with some isopropyl alcohol. Now what I have here is isopropyl alcohol. It's in a one-up cleaning bottle because that's what he includes with his stuff is isopropyl alcohol. So we've got our isopropyl alcohol, I've got a paper towel, and we're just gonna apply a little bit here. And we're just gonna wipe everything down. Again, the whole idea is to clean any gunk and grease and finger boogers and you know, Cheeto dust and Pringles dust and Cool Ranch Doritos dust and any other dust and crap. I mean, look at what we're getting off there. It's not insignificant because we want this to be as clean and pristine as possible. Hey, that rhymed. Um, and you're gonna have some stuff that you just can't get off, but you know, at least if you can get some of it off, and it's okay to put a little bit right on there. It'll just help eat into the, the crap a little bit quicker and pull off. I would recommend staying away from household cleaners, um, degreasers like Simple Green, simply because they actually have uh, stuff in there that'll leave a residue behind so that would actually do the exact opposite of what we're trying to do here hit the d-pad real quick now one thing i did want to point out too is sure we're doing this with an original nes controller but it'll also work with an nes classic edition controller too so uh, something to keep in mind now looking at it too i actually have the hyperkin cadet wireless controller I don't think that this would work for that because of the dog ears. I mean, it would probably kind of, sort of work, yeah, but not, you basically have to have a way to adhere it down to the bottom here. And as you can see on mine, this is actually lifting up already. So um, getting around that dog ear curve, a bit of a pain. All right, one of the reasons why I wanted to talk a little bit right there too, was I wanted that to dry. We're dry now, we're good. I have decided I am going to go with the Famicom overlay. 
And then for this, I'm going to just peel off the back. Now, one thing you may want to do, um, and I don't have any down here with me right now, um, but if you use like a glass cleaner between when you're applying this, um, it'll actually give you a little bit of wiggle room uh, to kind of reposition the decal. Uh, and as you can tell, I have decided to go with the Famicom uh, version on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to butt this up against the corner. It looks like that's falling right into place there. Kind of walk it down. Same type of thing here. We're going to just walk it down. Trying to make sure we're getting any and all air bubbles out. And you kind of see how I'm, you know, I've let, I didn't peel the backing all off at once. I'm using that to kind of help me get everything laid down into here. And just like that, we have a new custom faceplate on our NES controller. Now one thing, it does actually kind of look like there's a film and there is, oh, the, so this is going to look even better. Oh, that fogginess and everything just disappeared. Look at that. That is beautiful. Um, I love the different colors and everything that he does. I will have a link down below in a pinned comment. It adhered super, super well too. Um, I am absolutely loving and digging this. I do love the way that this turned out. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, part of me still wishes I would have put the Mario one on here, but I'm such a huge fan of the Famicom. This, this just makes sense. But here's the cool thing, is I still have my classic controller that I can go ahead and uh, customize on here. Or, these are dirt cheap. I can pick up a couple and really go ahead and customize them and have a number of different ones. Uh, to be able to look at and appreciate and enjoy. Uh, I do want to thank Graphics Gear for reaching out to me. Uh, the cool thing too, this community is awesome. Absolutely is. And we hadn't talked until he said, hey, would you be interested in checking out my overlays? Like, yeah, you do really cool stuff. Let's take a look at it. He actually also has gotten in touch with Russ Lyman, just one of the most creative people out there. If you've never seen Russ's work, check him out totally worthwhile. Um, Russ has done some projects with some of these now and to see the creativity that Russ does and what Graphics Gear does, it's a match made in heaven. It really, really is. But also just you, the community, the way that you've embraced these you know, these overlays, the way that you've embraced him. Um, I've, I've just seen other people touch base with him, talk about how cool his stuff is. Bob over at uh, Retro RGB, huge fan of these as well. So uh, I will have a link down below where you can pick these up in a pin post. Uh, these are absolutely phenomenal. And again, Graphics Gear, thank you so much for hooking me up with these sets here. What we may end up doing is we may end up giving those extra ones away. I think we're going to do that. Um, and I'll probably do it for our Patreon and channel members just because you guys are awesome, and I appreciate everything that you do. And you can become a channel member or a Patreon supporter for as little as a buck. I mean, not bad. Stay tuned. I'll announce what we end up doing with the other ones and whatnot. Now, if you do want to see any of the other controller mods that we've done, any other controllers that we've reviewed, check out Graphics Gear too. Make sure you subscribe to him. But we've got more videos coming up for you right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more 
by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at castlemaniagames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.